try a jump, and the jump may or may not work. A lot of times it does not work, okay? Why? This guy's a really good athlete. He's a better athlete than us. So that means this. I try something, he's going to stay balanced. All right? But what the dunk does is it, it, it puts him in a position that I want so we can finish. That's why it's so important. Because it's not just a finish, it's a set up to other finishes. So um, we're going to go to a step across. The actual finish of the step across is really, really, really easy. It's not the finish that is a challenge for anybody in here. It's the transition. It's the full motion. Staying in our stance and not, never stopping moving. That is the challenge. So here's how it works. Our step across is basically we're switching to a double. I shoot the head out the single hey. I'm always doing this, guys. I, and this goes without saying, you see me do it, I'm always doing this. There's always a, a bit of violence in my hands, and I'm not saying to be a jerk or anything, but there's always a bit of violence, okay? Always doing that. And then I do this, and I pull, and I circle, and what happens is his head comes up. Why? He's either going down or he's coming up. I'm either snapping to the mat, which is a real threat, or else he's fighting that threat, and he's raising up, and that's how I get underneath him. It's one of those two. So I'm either pulling him down, or getting him to come up comes up, I go on our knee. So there's always this violence in our hands. Um, and I haven't talked about any other different ties because we're just kind of in a time limit here, but um, <coughs> the more I change my hand, the more I change anything in wrestling, the more I change anything in wrestling, my tie, my level, my attack, what direction I'm going, the more I change, the more opportunities I'm going to have. What happens to a lot of wrestlers is their comfort zone lies in one or two positions so they get stuck in doing this and going forward. And if, if the, the tack they have isn't there, well then they're stuck ear to ear and they can never move. All right? I got to continually change. And, and you know what? I'm showing you the end segment here. This is the end of the, of the motion. The end of the motion would be circle here to the head outside. But before that point, there would be a lot of brawling. There would be a lot of hand fighting. Okay? We'd be here on the circle. Come on, change. Then go to the head outside. It would be a lot of motion. And it's me working. I have to work for a long time to get to here. And then when I get to there, I circle and pull. And then I hit my shot, OK? So there was a lot leading up to that. That's why when we warm up, we always warm up by fighting hands. And I want you guys to always get comfortable doing this. You always got to be comfortable building a relationship with your, with your partner where you know what? You develop a real flow. And you're willing, yeah, we just fight hands. I just fight hands. Yeah, what are we doing this? All right. And then when I get to there, there's the shot. Now, I go into him. Now I try a dump. I try a dump. It doesn't work. I threw back. It didn't work. But look what happened. Because I tried to do that for him to stay balanced. He had to hop all his weight to this foot. All his weight had to go here. Which now leads me to just like my finish for the double leg lift, when all the weight goes here, I can go across. So when I try the dump and it doesn't work, he hops all his way here. At that moment, now I step. I step across the front of his body. Notice my right foot, how far I step across the front. I step across the front. I did not do this. Step into him. This way. I step this way. As I step across the front, I step and I pop. I truly lift by doing this. The hips come in. I'm lifting with my hips here. All right, I'm doing this. Not lifting with my arms. So I step. Pop, and I drive, and I move my feet and I move my body across his hips. After I give him to plant his weight on his far foot, I give him to plant his weight on his far foot to one more. Good, who was that? Good answer. What is it, Brandon? Brandon? Good job, Brandon. All right, I go across his body. I switch to a double. After he gives weight on his far foot, I give weight on his far foot by doing one. Back. What's that name? Mark. I like it. Mark. Mark had some enthusiasm. I get the weight on his far foot. Then I shift to a double. I get the weight on his far foot by doing what? Circle. Good. You must know this. I said it's school, right? That's what we have to do. As I jump to my feet, everybody wants to go across. Everybody wants to do this. The stud's too strong. He beats you in this position. I gotta get him weaker. I get him weaker by circling back now. He hopped all that way here. Now I step, pop, and drive. And that finish got easy. That finish was easy. Now because I got some power in me. Because I put him where I wanted. I put him where I wanted by circling back, and then I pop and drive. Circle back, all right? The only way you're gonna do that in a match when it's crunch time is you gotta do it in here every day. 
for years and years and years and years. Head outside. I go in. He pushed back at me. I circle back and try to dump right there. You saw it. He had to hop to stay balanced. Now I step, hop, and drive. Transition. Don't stop moving. Let's do it. One, two, three.